What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute legs workout. So grab your dumbbells and your glute resistance bands if you have them and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 45 minute legs and glutes workout. I'm so pumped to get into this with you. I'm going to be using my glute resistance bands today so if you have yours you can go ahead and grab them. If not you're going to be totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna be using my dumbbells today as well. So I'm gonna go from 10, probably up to the 30, maybe a 40 pound dumbbell, 45 even, up for a goblet squat. And that first circuit is where I'll kinda hit the goblet squat. And then we'll go down into our glute bridge circuit, which is where I'll also bump up to that heavier weight. But we have things like lunges as well. So I'll go from heavy to kinda medium weights today. So just make sure you have weights that fit you, whatever that looks like, okay? Make sure you also have water and a sweat towel. And I've got my bench out here today for a step up move. If you've got something that you can pull out for a step up, that's fine. If not, you're just gonna do a lunge and drive, okay? So we're just driving off of that front foot. All right, you guys ready? I'm excited for this workout. You're really gonna love it. Okay, give me a thumbs up. We're gonna start with a hinge move to get into your warm up. Okay, so slight bend in your knee, hands on your hips. We're gonna push back in three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze forward and reach. Good, I want you to really activate your glutes here. So don't just bring your hips forward, squeeze your glutes together, and then go back. And I want you to start the squeeze here. Okay, so don't wait until you get up to the top and then squeeze. Start squeezing from the back. And one more. Good, now take it down into a squat. Great job. We've got four exercise circuits today. We're gonna work for 40 seconds, rest for 20, so you can kinda get into the next move. Two rounds. Good, one more. There you go, bring heels to glute. Good, this one feels nice for me. Anyone else? Four, three, good job. Two, and one. Now take a nice wide stance. Gonna hinge down, bend one leg, keep one leg straight, and then walk it right over. And then push back and forth on that. Good job. You wanna activate the leg that's bent pushing you back up, and then you're also stretching your straight leg adductor. Great work. Three, two, one, perfect. All right, let's step it back. High kicks. Good. Getting the hamstring here. Good, one more. And then I want you to lunge forward with your right foot. Keep your left leg straight out back. And you're gonna dip down and press up. Down and up. Good job. Hips at the bottom. You're gonna feel this stretch in the front of your hip and the top of your quad. And then up at the top, you're gonna feel it in your hamstring here. Okay, one more. Good, all right, let's switch legs. So step it up. And here we go again. Dip that back knee down, hip stretch, and pull up straight. Good, and I'm using my hand here to kind of help me get up top. One more. Exhale. Great job. Walk it into the center, and let's just cross your arms right over your chest. There we go. Four, three, two, one, and let's go ahead and get into it, all right? I'm gonna use my medium band up first, okay? And I'm gonna do a goblet squat, all right? I've got two rounds here, so I'm gonna start with my 30, and we'll go together in 20 seconds. So, band if you have it, if not, no worries. We've got a squat and knee drive, okay? So we're gonna go squat, drive. Or if you wanna go to the side, you can do that as well, all right? So two rounds here, round number one. Ready? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Sit it down, drive it up. And then you can switch every time. You can also go to the side, but I just want you to stabilize on one foot at the top. 
Good job. We'll have 20 seconds rest. We'll do this one more time. That way you can know what you're going into. And progressive overload style, you can grab a heavier weight if you're ready for that. Five seconds. Good job. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Heavier weight if you would like. Okay, I'm gonna go up as well. And let's challenge ourselves together here. So grab two weights if you have those, one heavier. Round number two, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Core is tight, you're sitting down in your heels. Great job. Keep that tension. Try not to spend too much time up here. Just hanging out, right? Get back down in that squat. Big push. Beautiful. Two, one, and rest. Good work. All right, so you've got, I'm gonna keep this dumbbell right here in the middle, okay? Low pop squat to deadlift. So you're gonna start here, pop it out, grab your dumbbell, come up. Hop back, hop to the side, same thing. Okay, two rounds here, are you ready? Two, one, jump out to the side, come up, and back. Knees stay out, your butt goes down, so it's not a deadlift here. It's a conventional. There we go. You're doing great. 15 more seconds. And then I'll challenge you. If you want to go up, you can. Okay, if you want to step low impact, that's also fine. Come up and then just step it back. Two, one. Great job. All right, can you go any heavier? Are you interested in going up? If yes, now's our time. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. And right before you start that lift, I want you to sit, don't just go here and figure out how to pick it up. Sit, power through the floor. And then you put it down in the same way. So don't just bend over and put it down. You sit. Okay, 15 seconds, come on. There you go, five, four. One more, three, two, one, good. Okay, now I'm gonna put two challenging weights out here. Okay, I'm gonna go squat, open, turn. Okay, so I start in the middle here. Turning to the side. I'm gonna go here, squat, come back to the middle. Same thing over here. Okay, Whew. let's go in four. And I know these are uneven, it's okay. Good challenging weights. Two, one. Let's go. Surround it, big push, and then jump or step back to the middle. Great job, just a little bit of agility here for you. Big push into the floor. This squat circuit is tough, I know. Nine, eight. Good, two, one. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, one more round there. And then we're gonna go for a squat side kick. Okay, one last round. Quads are on fire. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Big push. 
Strong legs, we're building today. Legs and glutes, builder. Keep those knees out. Make sure when you're picking up, you're not picking up here, okay, or here. Sit, knees wide, big push. 15. Whew. You know when I start getting tired, when I start doing the, woo. <laughs> Come on. Four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, I'm taking my band off. Resistance band down if you have yours on. Give me this one heavy dumbbell here, okay? Sumo style, so we're out to the side. We pick it up, put it down, lean over at the top. Sit, stand, switching sides each time. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One squat, come up, sit back down, and over. Just a little breather, but I do want you to come up, stabilize here, boom. Sit right back down into it. Good job, you're strong, come on. We're here to get stronger together. Nine, eight, four, three, two, one. All right, one last round there, and then we're gonna go to a lunge circuit. Let's finish strong right here. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Push, think about pushing the ground away from you. This dumbbell is just trying to hold you to the ground. Lock yourself in. Good work, come on. 20 more seconds, you got this. Seven. Four. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Whew. I'm gonna throw these heavy dumbbells back. I'm gonna go grab one, 15. One five pound dumbbell. Okay, just one of my 15s. We're starting with a left leg lunge, pendulum. We did something similar last week. Okay, we're going forward, dumbbell is up, and then you go backward, dumbbell is here. Okay, or flip flop that if you want. Whew. So at some point in this forward lunge, backward lunge, I want your dumbbell to come up, okay? Keep this leg right here. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. So the whole round, you're keeping what is my left leg, looks like my right leg to you. Keep it right here. Stabilization, we're pulling it in again. That's what this month is about. So in order to challenge you, and in order to make sure we get better at that, Got to push you into things that are not easy. 10 more seconds. Two, one, and rest, good. We're doing the same thing one more time, keeping the same leg right here, okay? It looks like my right, I'm just gonna say this leg, <laughs> okay? Five seconds, let's go. Same leg stays here, two, one, let's go. And when you push this dumbbell up, I want it to be, you're thinking, put it over my front heel, okay? Same thing when you go back. Keep it over the front heel.
Good job, five, four, two, one. You can guess what's coming, right? <laughs> Other leg. Whew. Beautiful job. We're keeping this left leg right here. Backwards, forwards. Eight seconds. This is a tough one. Lots of focus. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Lead out heel toe, especially if you're going to the front and you've got weight over your head. What you don't want to do is here, right? Collapse your chest. I want you to keep it up, right over top. Everything is stacked. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, ribs, hips. Everything stays right in this line. Almost there. Four, three. And rest, good. One more time, keeping the same leg stationary. I'm gonna move this so I can go side to side, or this way. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds. Fantastic job, let's go again. Stabilize. Ready, three, two, one. Same leg stays. Find a spot on the floor, watch it. Okay. Good job, come on. You're right there. 14 seconds with this leg. Big power off the front leg. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Great job. All right, so my, my left leg, what it looks like right here, mirror images. This leg was working hard just now, right? Now I'm gonna take this leg my right leg, we're gonna go split squats. If you have a bench, grab it. If you don't, we're right here, okay? Whew. I'm gonna use my 15 as well, all right? So it's up to you. If you wanna go same side, you can hold that dumbbell here or here. You can go body weight as well. Ready? Three, two, one, sit down in this front heel, come right back up. Now you'll have to kind of adjust. Get where it feels comfortable to you. Make sure you're sitting down. That back knee drops down as well. If you're on a bench or a couch. Great work. Ten more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, you have one more round on this same leg. Can you go up? Here's your chance if you're thinking maybe. Grab it, try it, okay? I know it's a lot of work on one leg, but that's how we get stronger. As a whole, we focus on getting the parts stronger, okay? Here we go, round two, three, two, one. Let's go. You're nice and stable, right? Dig that heel in for me. Now here's the angles of your chest. If you're leaning here, this is a little more quad heavy, okay? If you are straight up and down when you sit, a little more glute heavy. Both that angles are gonna get you a really good burn, work, but if you wanna target something in your leg a little more, it's gonna be over your quad. If you wanna target your glute a little more, it's gonna be a little more straight up. Let's go three, two, one, rest. Same thing on the other side. Same exact thing. If you're doing it on the mat, same thing. We're here and we're up. Or you can bend down here and up, okay? Whew. All right, this guy thankfully gets a rest. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go.
Good job. Dig that heel in. Keep your hips facing forward. So don't let them open up here. Okay? Keep everything facing forward, just like you would in a lunge. The reason I say that is because when you get up top here, you start opening, it starts transferring weight backwards. You just don't want to deal with that leg right now. You want to stay right here on top of this power leg out front. Two, one, rest. Good, same thing. One more time on this same leg, and then we're moving onto your glute circuit. You're doing fantastic. Whew. I know we've been using our glutes already, but glute isolation circuit. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Last round here. Push yourself. Dig that heel in. You do not need to be on your toes only out front. You need to be pushing through your whole foot. Your heel, your arch, your toes. Think about four press. You're down here, you're pressing the floor away. 10, nine, come on. Let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Whew. Grab some water. I'm gonna go to my heavy band now, okay? If you wanna grab yours, grab it. We're gonna be laying down for this whole circuit, okay? We've got a glute bridge abduction first. Okay, that means you're bridging, you're laying on the ground, bridging your hips up, legs go out and in. Whew. All right, two rounds, so grab the weights you wanna use. We're gonna go in seven seconds, okay? Here we go, come on down. As Soon as you get there, you get ready. Dumbbell on your hips, let's go. So up, open, back down. Squeeze the glutes, open a little, back down. Good, I need you breathing, are you breathing? When you go out with your knees, do not drop your butt. The butt does not release until you get back to the floor. Great job. Two, one, rest. Good. Round number two, same thing. If you've got another weight that you can go up to, let's do it, okay? Ugh. I know it's tough to get these dumbbells on. We got it. Here we go. Round number two, same thing. Two, one, let's go. Make sure you're not letting your back arch. You're tucking your belly button in, you're squeezing the bottom of those glutes together. Great job, come on. 20 seconds left. Oh, good job. 10, nine. Four, Three, two, one, beautiful. All right, take that small child off of your belly and you can remove your glute resistance band. I want your left leg to stay down. I want your right leg to be crossed underneath. This is tough, this is new, okay? Body weight only. Put your hands down. You're gonna bridge, tap that arch of your foot on the bottom of your hamstring, okay? I'll give you just a couple demos. Watch closely. Hips are flat, hands are down. You're bridging with this foot up, tap your hamstring, back down. Modification, right here. Tap, back down, okay? This leg stays bent, this leg does all the work. Two, one, let's go. Good. And you're lifting your hips still. This leg stays straight out from your hips. Back to the floor, back up. Now you should feel it right here, right in the back of your hamstring. Great work, come on. 
nine, eight, three, two, one. Good job. Now, we're gonna do that same leg one more time. If you can go up, add a dumbbell, do it. But I wanna make sure you're not going here, okay? Leg is flat. Watch again if you need another demo. Bridge, tap your hamstring back down. Figure four, glute bridge. Three, two, one. Let's go, same leg. Good, from this side, I'll give you another angle. Keep going. Good. And if you need to modify, come up, seated position. Okay, bridge here. This is tough, I know. Nine, eight, two, one, rest. We're gonna do the same thing on the other leg, okay? So nice and flat with this leg. You're lifting everything here. Bridge, tap, come back to the floor. Okay, modify by setting up and supporting yourself with your hands. Let's go, two rounds right here. Three, two, one. Let's go, pull up, down. You might be thinking, why is this so hard? Because you're extending your foot past what you would be in a normal glute bridge. So it's a little farther away, demanding more hamstring. Good. You're also working your inner thigh here, right? You feel this? Lifting that leg, lifting the knee. Good job, come on. Seven. Three, two, one, rest. We got one more round on this leg. You're doing great. This is a tough one. Right after this, we'll go into another variation of your glute bridge with both feet, okay? So one more round of isolation. Here we go, hands down, keep your hips going up. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, dig that heel, push. Think about this hip. You're getting it up as high as you can. You're bringing this hip with it, using your inner thigh. That's a lot of work here. Maybe we haven't done something like this before, or you haven't done anything like this. It's a new move. So slow it down, focus on it. We'll hit this move again before the end of the month. Come on. You got 12, 11. Five. Come on, three, two, one, and rest. And I'm going back to my heavy glute band. Whew. Okay, where's this guy? There it is. We're going back to the glute bridge just like we did on the first exercise. Watch my feet. I'm gonna come up. Dig the heel, lift to the toe, back down. Heel, toe, back down. Heel, toe, okay? We'll go in 10 seconds. Are you with me? All right, two rounds. Let's go here in three, two, one. Dig the heels, lift, go to the toe. Good job. There we go. When you get onto your toes, I want you squeezing your glutes underneath really hard. Good, let's go for 45 seconds here. You ready? Seven, six, five. That's it, three, two, one, rest. All right, <sighs> round two. Same exact thing, can you go heavier? If you think maybe, then I think yes. Let's try it, okay? <laughs> Not to be pushy, but let's do it. Two, one, here we go, bridge, up. So many questions, how do we get our glutes bigger? How do we lift our butt? This heavy weight on your isolated glute exercises, this one is one of the best. I would arguably say this is the best, okay? But you've gotta get that clinch. Okay, it can't just be high hips. It's gotta be lifted hips because your glutes are squeezing so hard. 
and they're squeezing so hard because you're fighting against a heavy dumbbell or dumbbells. Seven more seconds, come on. Squeeze harder, let's go, five. Give me one more, two, one, and rest. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, come on down, grab some water. I'm gonna take my heavy glute band off. <sighs> Great work, guys. Grab water. This is a heavy workout, it's a builder. So I need you to have some recovery time. All right, I'm just gonna move these guys back here. Okay, sorry, <laughs> a little bit loud. All right, we're gonna go into light resistance if you would like, or no resistance at all. Either one is fine. I'm gonna grab my light dumbbell. We've got three rounds of 30 seconds of work. Rocket jumps, okay? So, we're starting here. You remember last time, we did a three, two, one up, same thing. We're gonna do three rounds of 30, okay? <sighs> Big deep breath, we got it. If you don't wanna jump, you sit three, two, one up, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Take it down for three, two, one up, slow three, two, one. Good, you wanna think about your hips here instead of your chest. So I'm not going three, two, one. I'm going three, two, one. 12 seconds, come on. Come on, four, three, two, one, rest. You've got 15 seconds rest. You can choose to walk it out, shake those thighs out, tie your shoe, or <laughs> sit in a squat hold for me, okay? Here we go. Four, three, two, same thing. Let's go. Three, two, one, rocket jump. Thirty seconds again. You're doing great. Come on, trust me, we're gonna make it through this. Seven, six. Drop that butt low, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, 12 seconds. You got one more time through. Can you hold a squat with me? Let's do it. Five, four, get ready, three, two, one. Last round, three, two, one, go. Control the tempo, keep the knees out. So when I'm going down, I'm not going here. I'm not caving in, I'm saying out, 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 up. If you really focus on this eccentric work, you're really gonna get a good work for your quads here. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Your choice now to go down whew, with this band on. All right, sorry, my mouth is getting dry. <laughs> We're going down into a bear crawl plank hop, okay? You're keeping your knees right under your hips. Out, in, plank, hop. Out, out, in, in, plank, hop, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Drive your knees and your ankle. Out, out, in, in, plank, hop. Notice I'm not going here with my knees still in the middle of my mat and my feet wide. I'm taking it all out, okay? <laughs> out, out, together, plank. <sighs> Beautiful, three, two, one, rest. Woo! You can choose to hold a plank here if you would like. <sighs> all right, same thing, round number two. Are you ready? Let's go in three, two, one, let's do it. Lead with the knees. When you go bear curl walk out, lead with your knees, not your toes. Wide, wide. 
come on. Think about your abs here as well. 10 more seconds. Two, one, rest. Oh boy, <laughs> we've got one more round. Are you ready? Woo. There it is again. Woo. Five, four, bear crawl. Come on up, three, two, one. Toes down, knees up, let's go. It's kind of a uh, tough position either way, right? When you're back in your plank, your quads are still flexed and you bring them right back under you. They're still working, right? Oh, I'm losing my rhythm here. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my gosh, that one is so tough. Okay, 30 seconds rest. Whew. We're gonna go step ups. Okay, if you do not have a bench or a box or something to get from floor to elevation, I just want you to go forward lunge knee drive. I'm gonna grab my 220s. Okay, so you can set yourself up here as well. Don't put a band on. All right, so here's what we're doing. Step, back down and switch. Okay, move this out of the way. All right, if you're not doing a step up, you're going forward lunge, drive. Okay, you're pushing up on that front leg. Let's go together, eight seconds, are you ready? 45 seconds of work here. Three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds, because we're alternating, we're gonna go for 45. And I want you to push off of the bench or off of this object more so than the ground. So you're putting your weight on this foot up top, okay? Versus getting here and then shoving off the floor really hard. You're gonna feel that in your glute, in your quad. Ten seconds. Two, one, rest. Great job. Can you go heavier? We've got three rounds of 45 here. If you can go heavier, let's do it. Don't cut yourself short. You are worth more than that. Challenge. That's why we're here. Builder, ready, let's go. Builder requires you to push past what you're used to, okay? We're putting more into this. Good job. On your step up knee, make sure you don't let it swing in towards your arch. You keep it out right over your second and third toe. More so close to your pinky. Come on, let's go. And rest. Good job. One more round. Can you go any heavier? If you think maybe, let's try it. All right, we'll go in eight seconds. Are you ready? Whew. Same thing, there's the woo. I'm working hard, I want you to do the same. Two, one, let's go. Keep your chest up, push on that front leg. Don't let your chest cave in. When I was in college, our coach used to make us stomp on the box so he could assure all of our power was coming off of our front leg and not our back leg. Show me that power. Six, five, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing work. Grab some water. Whew. Very proud of you. 
Great job on that 45 seconds. Okay, I'm taking it back to medium band, optional of course. And we're gonna go front squats. Slow on the way up, slow on the way down. Holding a dumbbell right here. Three, two, one, three, two, one, okay? Seven seconds, I'm gonna use a 30. Give me something that's good weight for you. Three, two, one, let's get it. You go down slow, you come up slow. You don't stop at the top, you bend again. Good. That's it, that's it. Eight, seven. Three, two, lower down to the bottom with me. Stay here for 15. Hold, hold. We'll rest after this, come on. Seven seconds, stay here, hold, pull your belly in. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Whew. We've got two more rounds of that, okay? 45 seconds of work. You're moving for 30, you're holding for 15. Let's go again in three, two, one. Come on. Slow squats. Beautiful, I'm with you. Just trying to breathe. Seven seconds and you hold for 15. If you need to drop that dumbbell, that's okay. Next one, come down and hold. Here we go, 14, 13. Keep the knees out, that's the toughest part here with the band. Keep them out. Two, one, rest. You've got one more round there. Are you ready? All right, give me all you've got here for seven, six, 30 seconds of work, two, one, let's go. Good job, oh, I know my legs are shaking as well. Thirteen. Next one, come down and stay. You're going in three, two, one. Hold for 15. Right here. Stay right here for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Now we're gonna drop down to a glute bridge. Okay, 15 seconds move, 15 seconds hold. All right, grab that dumbbell. Bridge. Let's go in six seconds, are you ready? 15 seconds moving, two, one, let's go. Up and down for 15, and then you hold for 15. Good, four, three, on your next one, go up, stay right there, drive the knees out. Out, 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 actively push out onto the edges of your foot. You've got six seconds, you're gonna resume. Four, three, down and up again, two, one, let's go, down and up. Come on, 15 seconds right here. When we get to 15, we'll stop for 15. <laughs> Three, two, one, stay up and hold. Good job, come on, six, five, you've got one more round, are you ready? Two, one, let's go, down and up. 15 seconds here. Let's go, let's go, squeeze harder. Five, four, three. On your next one, lift, hold, and stay. Stay, stay, stay. You've got 15 seconds. Drive your knees out, drive your glutes in. Knees out, 
Cheeks together. Seven, six, squeeze harder. Five, four, harder. Three, two, one, and drop your glutes down to the floor. You've made it to your cool down. <laughs> Amazing job. Oh, make your way up if you can. Take your band off. I feel like we just started and at the same time, I feel like we've been here for six days. <sighs> Amazing job. <sighs> All right, let's come onto your hands and knees. You're doing amazing. You did amazing, you're done. I didn't mean for that to indicate anything. <laughs> you did amazing, we finished the workout. Drop your hips back, 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 back. Let your back kind of round out and reach your hands forward. Guys, great work today. I'm so proud of you. Come on up to hands and knees. Give me your right leg. Take it under your chest. If that feels good right here, stay there. If you can inch it back, let's go down. Okay, both hips are pointing forward or towards your mat. Great job, go down over top if you can. Very proud of you today. New moves, right? You'll see that one again next week. The figure four bridge. Okay, come on up, let's just switch legs right here. So come back to your hands and knees. Bring that foot underneath again. Okay, stay here if that feels good to your glute. If you can inch it back, go down. And then if you can go any lower, Let's go right here. Both hips point towards the ground, meaning this hip right here. Make sure it's not here. <laughs> Roll it down. Whew. I hope today you gave me, and more importantly, yourself, your time, everything that you had. All right, this was one of those workouts where round one, you kind of get it, you get into your groove. Round two, you're tired, but you know what you're doing, right? You know what's coming again. And you know if you can, you can step it up. Think about things in your day in that same exact way, okay? Bring your knees back under your hips. <sighs> figure four, I mean not figure four, all fours, <laughs> and tuck your toes down. Lift your butt up into the air and drive those heels down. Think about the challenges of your day in that same way. Maybe it's the same exact routine. You get up, you do this, you do this, you do this. You go home, you work out, or you work out before you go to work, whatever. Maybe it's in any order, whatever the order of your day is. Walk back to your toes for me. More than likely, you know what's coming, right? For the majority of us, we know what we have to do each day. Things will come up always, but for the majority of us, roll up slowly. You know you've got certain things each day that you've gotta do, right? Pull your heel to your glute. So think about each day, you know what you've gotta do. How can you challenge yourself to be better more efficient, work harder in those things, okay? Yesterday we talked about making sure your mind and your body stay moving, especially when you get bored, especially when you get tired, you get low energy, okay? You start to get cravings, you start to think, am I hungry or am I just bored? Either way, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and see <laughs> what I can do in there, right? Moving your mind, moving your body, knowing what you can do, right? Today I want you to think about the grand scheme of your day and think about, okay, if I know what I've gotta do each day, I know I've gotta to go to work. I know I wanna get my workout in. I know I've got things I wanna do after work. In the same way that you knew what was coming round two today for the moves, maybe round three in the last part of our workout, you know what's coming. How can you challenge yourself to be better at that? How can you challenge yourself to work harder? And every single day you're gonna eat food, right? <laughs> every day. So the night before, can you plan ahead and say, what can I do to make sure tomorrow the way that I'm eating suits me, makes me feel good, gets me closer to my goals? helps me feel full of energy, keeps me full, whatever the goal is for you. Okay, same thing with your job. Go to work, you know you're gonna go to work. How can you do better at that job? How can you pour into it more? How can you progressively overload your energy throughout the day to make sure your workout is one that you absolutely crush? Okay, think of progressive overload in the workout. I squatted with the 21st round, next round I'm gonna challenge myself more and I'm gonna squat with the 25, whatever the weights are for you. You know what's coming in the day, some things will come in and out that you can't control, yes, but there are so many things that we know that are coming, and I'm talking to myself when I say all of this to you guys as well. This is kind of a reality check for me. I know what I've gotta do every day, so can I get more efficient? Can I do better? Can I get up earlier? Can I be more prepared the night before? Lay my clothes out, get my food ready, play my meals in my meal tracking app, whatever I can do 
to prepare for the next day, I've got to start doing that. And I want you to start doing that with me. I keep it very real with you guys here, right? Always, you know that. You can guarantee that I'm not gonna come and just act like everything is beautiful and perfect and sparkly, right? It's real life for me too. <laughs> so I'm challenging myself and I'm challenging you. What can we do today that'll set us up for a better tomorrow? Very simple, right? What can we do before we go to bed tonight that'll set us up for a better tomorrow? Write it down. If you've got something to write down near you, right after this, put it in your phone notes, whatever you've got. Set goals for yourself, write them down so you can see them. Hold yourself accountable, okay? We're gonna do it together, all right? So make sure before you head out today, another way you can do it for accountability is comment below. What are you gonna do tonight to set yourself up for a better tomorrow? Food, sleep, hydration, energy, goal achievement at your job, relationship improvement in your friendships, your spouses, your boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever it is. How can you improve in some way? Okay, feel free to comment below. I'm very proud of you today. Way to go. My legs are shaking as I talk to you. So I know I worked my hardest and I want you to know that you did the same for yourself each day, okay? So before you head out, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you right back here tomorrow. All right, love you guys. Bye. Bye.